Welcome back to News Desk on KTN News. Now, we begin with the U.S. Democratic presidential debate that ended just over two hours ago. Now, Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton clashed with her rival, Bernie Sanders, of a gun control. Sanders, however, backed Clinton in the wake of the controversy over her private emails. Here now are excerpts of that debate. Now, the first for the Democrats in the 2016 race. Take a look. Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley. Thank you. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont. Senator Jim Webb of Virginia. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Democratic candidates for President of the United States. <laughs> Let's begin. It seems to me that instead of building more jails and providing more incarceration, maybe, just maybe, we should be putting money into education and jobs for our kids. Will you say anything to get elected? Well, actually, I have been very consistent over the course of my entire life. I have always fought for the same values and principles, but like most human beings, including those of us who run for office, I do absorb new information. I do look at what's happening in the world. Um, you know, take the trade deal. I did say when I was Secretary of State three years ago that I hoped it would be the gold standard. It was just finally negotiated last week. And in looking at it, it didn't meet my standards, my standards for more new good jobs for Americans, for raising wages for Americans. And I want to make sure that I can look into the eyes of any middle class American and say, this will help raise your wages. And I concluded I could not. Just for the record, are you a progressive or are you a moderate? I'm a progressive, but I'm a progressive who likes to get things done. And I know how to find common ground, and I know how to stand my ground, and I have proved that in every position that I've had. And what democratic socialism is about is saying that it is immoral and wrong that the top one-tenth of one percent in this country own almost 90 percent, almost, own almost as much wealth as the bottom 90 percent. Secretary Clinton, is Bernie Sanders tough enough on guns? No, not at all. I think that we have to look at the fact that we lose 90 people a day from gun violence. This has gone on too long, and it's time the entire country stood up against the NRA. Have you ever been to Western Maryland? We were able to pass this and still respect the hunting traditions of people who live in our rural areas. And we did it ever since by leading with principle, not by pandering to the NRA well, and backing down to the NRA. Voting record, I and I have been asked I don't think NRA. I am pandering, but you have not been in the United States Congress. Well, maybe and when you want to check it out. <laughs> and I think it's important, too, that the United States make it very clear to Putin that it's not acceptable uh, for him to be in Syria, creating more chaos, bombing people on behalf of Assad. And I will do everything that I can to make sure that the United States does not get involved in another quagmire like we did in Iraq, the worst foreign policy blunder in the history of this country. I believe that a no-fly zone in Syria at this time Actually, Secretary, would be a mistake. But tonight, I want to talk not about my emails, but about what the American people want from the next president Senator of the United Senator, States. Let me say this. Let me say, let me say something that may not be great politics. But I think the Secretary is right. And that is that the American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. Thank you. Thank you. The middle class Anderson, and let me say something about the media as well. 
I go around the country, talk to a whole lot of people. Middle class of this country is collapsing. We have 27 people living in poverty. We have massive wealth and income inequality. Our trade policies have cost us millions of decent jobs. The American people want to know whether we're going to have a democracy or an oligarchy as a result of Citizens United. Enough of the emails. Let's talk about the real issues facing America. I think we need someone that has the best in ethical standards as our next president. That's how I feel. Secretary Clinton, do you want to respond? No. Governor, Governor, in my view, Secretary Clinton, you do not, Congress does not regulate Wall Street. Wall Street regulates Congress. I want to open up the opportunity for uh, immigrants to be able to buy in to the exchanges under the Affordable Care Act. I, I would not ask anyone to vote for me based on my last name. I'd ask them to listen to what I'm proposing, look at what I accomplished uh, the Senate as Secretary of State, uh, and then draw your own conclusion. I am the only candidate running for president who is not a billionaire, who has raised substantial sums of money, and I do not have a super PAC. You know, when people say that, um, it's always the Republicans or their sympathizers who say you can't have paid leave, you can't provide health care. They don't mind having big government to interfere with a woman's right to choose and to try to take down Planned Parenthood. They're fine with big government when it comes to that. I'm sick of it. On this stage, you didn't hear anyone uh, denigrate women. You didn't hear anyone make racist comments about new American immigrants. You didn't hear anyone speak ill of another American because of their religious belief. What you heard instead on this stage tonight was an honest search for the answers that will move our country forward. If you work hard and you do your part, you should be able to get ahead and stay ahead. Please join me in this campaign. Please come and make it clear that America's best days are still ahead. Thank you very much. <laughs>